Shear center of the eye section shown in figure. Given that the thickness of the section is 10 millimeter all throughout. Now we can see the given I section is symmetrical with respect to x axis. And the left vertical leg has a height of 200 mm, right one has 150 mm, and the distance between these two legs, center to center distance, is 210 millimeters. And see, 10 mm is the thickness all throughout. Okay. This we are marking because your shear center lies along this line. Whether the shear center will fall outside this or inside this, that we will determine. Okay. So, this, how the shear flow will be? Shear flow in this leg will be just opposite to this. Here also the shear flow will be just vertically upwards. And this horizontal leg will not have any shear flow. Okay. Now let us say the total shear resisted by the left leg, let us say this one is V1. Now shear resisted by right vertical leg is V2. You now you have to find out V1 and V2. So for that first you need the moment of inertia about section x axis. This is the x axis. This is your moment of inertia. Now mark very salient points in this one. Um, let us say this point is A, this point is B, this point is C, this point is D, this point is here is O, N. Now find the shear flow at various points for the left leg as well as for the right leg to find out V1 and V2. Now to find shear flow. Now what is the shear flow at point A which will be equal to at B also because both are edge or end of the ends. The shear flow will be zero because because there is no area available above A or below B, so it becomes zero. Now shear flow at O is equal to. So if you want to find out shear flow at this O, you have to consider this whole area. So the height is. This height is. 200 by 200. So, V by I area is 100 into 10 and the Y bar is 50. Right? This height is 50. That is Y bar. So, what you have here is 50,000 V divided by I. Shear resisted by the left leg V1 is equal to. Now, this variation will be the shear flow variation here. Here is 50,000 into V by I. So, the variation is parabolic. So this is the shear flow distribution. At this point O you have fifty thousand V by I. Now what is V1 V1 is equal to area of that shear flow center is two third of height is two hundred base is two hundred height is 
b divided by right now similarly you can find out for the right leg now shear flow at n is equal to v by i here you have the central axis is 75 into 10 into 75 by 2 this is a y bar v Two eight one two five B divided by I. So B two is equal to two thirda one fifty two eight one two five B divided by I nine point four nine sixteen point six is equal to hundred. Two nine seven. So V one plus V two should be equal to X nine So you can check here point seven zero two plus point two nine seven with V this V is zero so V is this is point nine 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 V which is equal to V. So that is fine. Okay, so This B1 is 0 0.702V. Now, if you this is the distribution here, now V2 is equal to 0.297. V1 is upwards, V2 is upwards, V is downwards. So V1 plus V2 is equal to V. So that is satisfied. Your V1 is here, which is 0 0.702 V. Your V2 is here. At the center, which is 0.297 v. Now you have to look at the shear center. Shear center will lie along this axis. Okay, the shears, the total applied shear on the left side, outside the section. Now, if I take moment of all the forces with respect to O, this will give an anticlockwise moment about O. And this force also will give anti-clockwise moment. So the section will remain in unequilibrium condition. So therefore, your V cannot be outside. Let us say V is somewhere inside here at a distance E. Now you take the moment of all the forces with respect to O. So what you have, you take sum of moment at point O, make it equal to zero. So you have V2, V2 into 210. And this one, this applied shear multiplied by the shear center is in total clockwise direction. So minus V into V is equal to 0, therefore E is equal to V2 210 divided by V. Therefore, V is equal to V2 is 0 0.297 V into 210 divided by V. The CS center is coming into 62.37 millimeters. Okay. 
So if you do not want any shear in this problem, your shear sign, if you do not want any torsion in this section, your shear, your force should pass to your point. Therefore, shear center is equal to 62.37 millimeters. Okay. So one more thing I will leave to you. V1 will always be equal to V into moment of inertia of first section, first left side rectangle divided by moment of inertia of entire section. Similarly, V2 is equal to V multiplied by moment of inertia second vertical rectangle about its own axis central axis divided by Right. You can see whether you are able to get this value, right?